um, this is my personal opinion. Now, I don't mean to offend anybody if you was once on drugs or whatever, <clears throat> but I never got, I never quite, you know, I was sober and I can get, I got enough trouble being sober. So I can't even imagine if I was high. I really can't. I'd probably be dead or either in the pen somewhere if, if I had the drugs because I had a, a real quick attitude. My attitude is that, bam, I just, I go from one to 100. I was hot-headed. The Lord is dealing with me. He's really helped me with that. Uh, if it weren't for the Lord, I'm telling you, I'd be dead. But I just don't understand the concept of you like, you look at other people doing drugs and then you decide, you say, I like the way they're acting. They lost everything. They look bad. I mean, I hear some women out here selling their body. The men has lost everything. Some women are, are pimping themselves out. Even some men will do that when the drugs get to you. I just never understand. Like you sitting back, say you sober though. I'm, I'm saying you never took anything before. And you standing back and you looking at all the people who took drugs. And you just so you say like, you know what? I like being made a making a fool of myself like that. Let me go try what they're trying. I just, I never got that. Because I be saying, like, people act a fool enough when they're sober. I just, I never got, and I'm not trying to knock you. Everybody got their own their own vice. But drugs is one of those things I, I never got. Because I know some people who drink just as worse as a drug addict. I mean, they don't know how to act when they drink. But I always look, and the drunks get on my nerve, too. Because I never understood, like, and plus they got video phones now. Like, if you that drunk and you falling down acting a fool in public, somebody videotape it. And show it to you. Or they videotape put it on the internet. Why would you want to drink again? Because this is what you got out of there. You made a fool of yourself. But I never understood this thing about drugs. Because, I mean, if nothing else turns you off about drugs, look at Hunter Biden. Just think about it. We wouldn't know any of this thing about Joe Biden if it wasn't for crack. Look at how many people, famous, non-famous, rich, non-rich, educated, uneducated, that drugs have ruined. You can't name, hardly name one because what it is is that it promises you something that it can never deliver to you. That's what drugs actually does. Alcohol does the same thing. And I always was fascinated when somebody said, like, we having like a, such a ball. We don't, it's like I never, I've drank alcohol before. I just, I don't like the way it tastes and I don't like the way it makes me feel. I like being in my right mind. I'm just, that's just me. I'm strange like that because I stay high all the time without even taking anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always high. But what I don't understand is that when you look at other people that has ruined their life and you say to yourself, you know what? I want to ruin my damn life too. So I'm going to do what they've been doing. Like, just think about all this. Is, if you name famous people, whether it be Marilyn Monroe, uh, what's the other one? Name? Anna Nicole, Whitney Houston, uh, Elvis Presley. What was he on? Depressants or something? I don't know what he was taking exactly. Can't remember, but I know he had got heavy when he before he died. I mean, look at all the people that I mean, you just go down the list, Richard Pryor, and it's so many people that drugs have Jim, Jimi Hendrix. There is no end to it. Amy Weinheiser House, what's her name? Wine was it Winehouse? I like her music. Is it Winehouse? One of those names like that. That poor child was about to disappear. You couldn't even always see her. She was so skinny. Them drugs is terrible, man. I don't understand why people can argue that drugs is is good. Because, I mean, of course they got some good drugs that'll help you. But I'm just saying, I'm saying like these drugs that get you strung out and you don't know where you at. I don't get that. Like you over here, you parked at the car. It was these guys who used to take what they call, and they still take it now. They call, used to call it sir. This guy was so high. I'm not even exaggerating. He was so high that he fell asleep under the steering wheel at the stop sign. And, uh, I mean, he just out of it. The cops pull up while he just out. With his foot still on the brake like this, sleep because he didn't been hitting the syrup. It's when they they call it syrup. I think they dip their their uh, marijuana in this like embalming fluid or whatever the crap is. I don't even know what it is. It just it just I don't know. It just scares the hell out of me. I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to drugs, I'm a coward. I I, I just don't understand how anybody can uh, watch other people make a fool of themselves and say, you know, I want some of that. What they've been doing is working real well for them. It's destroyed their lives, and I want to destroy my life now. I just, I don't get it. Now, with some people, what I get is that they're going to hang out, like in Hollywood, like you hang out at the party, and they, they'll, 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 what they'll do is uh, they, the peer pressure. Well, see, I never gave in to peer pressure. It'd be good to try to 
stop giving in the peer pressure. It, it may be the time for you to stop doing it. Children, if there's any children, listen, don't ever give in to peer pressure. There's a bunch, anybody trying to tell you to take drugs or do something that makes you feel uncomfortable, leave right then. They're not your friends. Friends do not try to force people to do things that make them, that's very uncomfortable. Unless it's like you making you go get a job or making you do something that's good for you. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying things that are bad for you. I don't understand what's this big, like, why do you like to be high all the time? Why do you like to be drunk all the time? I, I don't I don't get it. Because if just say you're trying to get away from your problems, I just like to bring myself down. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with having a couple of beers or a bottle of wine. I'm not saying I'm not I'm not trying to judge you on that. Because I don't think the Bible is against uh wine. I don't know what it says about beer, but it's not against wine, that's for sure. I'm just saying getting drunk and making a fool of yourself or getting high. And you get and you once they start, they can't stop. I mean, look at the fella. I forgot. What's that famous fella down there in um, South Carolina killed his wife and his kid? I forgot his name. We did a video on it. Look what it did to him. This was prescription drugs. This fool kills his wife and son and then tries to lie. Drugs are terrible, man. They're terrible. Because people already got a dirty enough heart without drugs. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's people that will just kill their spouse over some money. Not even a lot of money either. Uh, I, I just put a $200,000 insurance policy on you and I found a new woman. I found a new man. You have to die because we want to take your money and my new husband or my new boyfriend or my new girlfriend. We need your money because we got to kill you and then we're going to get paid. So people got wicked hearts without drugs. But when you multiply, I'm, I'm convinced that m most of the crimes that's occurring is, is people are on some type of drugs. I'm convinced of it. Because you got to be on something in order to come to the conclusion like, I'm going to take my gun and just go shoot up in a public place. And then we're going to blame it on the guns after you do that. Or I'm going to take my car and just going to run over a bunch of people. You tell me you ain't on drugs. I don't know what, uh, is it, I don't think nobody's sober that take, will take a gun and go up in a public place and shoot. You're, you're on some type of drugs. You can't convince me any, any other way. Whether it be non-prescription or prescription drugs. And what we need to do is that all the government do, really does is promote drug use, alcohol use. That's all they promote. And then they'll turn around and say, we need to violate your rights because some lunatic decided to take their gun and go up in a place. Or either some lunatic, when they tried to blow up the plane at that time, you got to take your shoes off now because this idiot did it. All the rules and regulation are made to punish law-abiding citizens, not the criminal. Because the criminal don't give a damn about your laws. It's obvious they don't. Because if they cared about your laws, they wouldn't take the gun and went up in a school or a public place and did some shooting. So it's obvious making a law when people are crazy and on drugs, it's not going to do them any good. Because they're not going to sit back and say, you know what, I was thinking about killing a bunch of little children. But I just read that law that Congress just passed. And you know what I've done? I'm going to have to reconsider that because that law convinced me not to do anything. I don't See, I didn't lose all patience for trying to have an argument with damn fools. Because if you think that one minute that you can make any kind of law to stop people from being completely a menace to society, you're just deceiving your damn self. So why would you want to multiply that by influencing them to take more drugs? Like all the fentanyl that's coming in, you think the government is trying to stop the fentanyl that's coming in? And that stuff is dangerous because like sometimes the cops will stop somebody and they'll accidentally touch the stuff and they'll pass, they'll pass out. Now, you know there's got to be some really potent drugs if you just touch them and all of a sudden it gets in your skin by touching it and it knocks you out. That scares the hell out of me. I'm not going to even lie to you. That's some scary damn drugs, and people are voluntarily taking that. That when you barely do touch it, <laughs> it'll kill you, and you say, I'm going to take them of that. Why would you want to take something that's killing people when they accidentally touch it? Why would I want to put that in my body? I'm not putting that trash in my body. I got enough trash in my body. I'm not... Put, put the other stuff like I mean, I just want, I don't understand it. Help me understand people because I don't get them sometimes. I don't. Some of the things they're doing, and is what, what gets me is that you think that the people in charge really want to stop this. They don't. The only way they can make themselves feel important because they're sick people. Most leaders are sick. The only way they can make themselves feel good is by keeping you in bondage, by saying, we're going to keep you scared so you can give up your damn rights. What kind of sane person would want to try to violate somebody else's right and keep somebody oppressed by lying to them 
and deceiving them so they can control them. That's got to be a sick, small-minded individual. And our problem is we got too many sick, small-minded so-called leaders in this country. All they do is think about, it was the gas stoves now. The gas stoves are offensive because I heard that Cory Booker woman, she's dumbing in a, a box of burnt hair. She says that we're not trying to ban stoves. We're trying to, we're trying to stop the pollution inside your house. You can't make it up. Whenever I read some of this stuff, I be saying like, I'm, I, I am literally have died and went to some kind of crazy place or something. Because the things that people are arguing about, they got to be high. The only thing I can come up with is the Cory, that Cory woman, she got to be high some Cory Bush. She got to be on some kind of drugs. I bet you if I do a test, I bet she on drugs. I bet you any kind of money, if we go do a test of everybody who's committed a violent crime in the last 15, 20 years, I bet you they on some kind of drugs. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Well, it got to be because, I mean, let's say, say 80% of people own drugs, some types of drugs. 80%. Damn. One survey said 90%. But I'm saying the kind of drugs that alters your mind. You're already not that stable anyway. Most humans are not that stable. You do realize that, right? I mean, we all got can have dirty hearts sometimes. I'm saying, but some people have the propensity, first of all, to be violent or to be influenced by anybody. Because you shouldn't just be able to look at the internet and says, I'm so mad because people are protesting. I'm going to drive to Brett Kavanaugh's house and try to kill him because somebody said so. I'm going to go try to shoot uh, Ronald Reagan because somebody said so on the internet. See, we have taking responsibility from adults now. That's our problem. Some of it's drugs, some of it ain't drugs.